Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 4.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Yeah, I'm running a little late and it's because I did have a second cup of coffee. So this is kind of funny I say that because I guarantee in the comments I'm going to have somebody's I'm going to talk about marijuana today. And I guarantee you somebody in the comments is going to say, well, but you still use caffeine and that's a drug and it's a mood altering drug. I don't know. Guilty. Uh, I want to talk about marijuana. And it's it's my personal truth. I, I the, the the point of this video is, if I could go back to when I was when I first used marijuana when I was 15, I believe 14 or 15, I don't remember exactly. Uh, I wouldn't use it again, and I'm going to tell you guys why. It was it was my gateway drug. I know a lot of you probably won't like me saying that, you know. And I'm not I'm not, I'm not saying marijuana should be illegal. I'm not saying you guys should stop smoking it. I'm not saying you guys are wrong or immoral or any of that. I'm telling you my truth, my honest truth and my opinion. Do with it what you will. Yesterday's video, I left out a very important part. Uh, I was talking about Aaron, uh, Aaron Carter. And I talked about my last relapse, the last time I ever relapsed. Um, on October 23rd of 2006. And this, I just left out one important, just like a basic sentence at the end of that. Uh, that was the last time. That night, if you, have, if you haven't watched that video, you don't have to watch it to see what I'm talking about. That was the last time I ever used it, I ever used. Uh, it was the last time I ever called a drug dealer or met a drug dealer, ever, in, in over 16 years. And I just wanted to add that. that, that I, I like that finality to, that, to, to, that, to the end of that video. Anyway, let's talk about this, marijuana. Uh, I moved more into the city uh, from my, my country, where, I, where the, the country home in the forest where I used to live after my father died, and I was scared. I was a little frightened moving there. It was the wrong side of the tracks. You know, my father died when I was nine. By the time we were 14, we finally got, had to move out of the uh, state house. There was a, the Connecticut house where the, the park ranger lived, and uh, they had to eventually kick the widow and her kids out. And we had to move to the wrong side of the tracks. And I was kind of scared. And uh, this, I'll tell you about the first time I ever smoked. The first time I ever smoked marijuana. This is the first time I used any type of drugs. I was about 14 or 15. I was cutting through a trail going from my, from, from my house to my friend's house about a half mile through the woods. And uh, I came upon a big rock where everybody, you know, graffiti on it, where the, the kids and teenagers hung out. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys have all seen these kind of places. And there was about five or six of the local guys and uh, one girl sitting on the rock. And I, I was scared. I was, you know, these were, these were tough guys and all this. And, uh, you know, it's funny because I ended up becoming one of these people. But, uh, you know, they already saw me, so I continued walking. And they were rolling, we, we used to call them bones or joints, uh, I'll get into, into that more in a second, but they were rolling a whole big bag, and they were, I remember they were putting, they were rolling them up, and they were putting, putting them in a, a cowboy hat, and there was this one girl, this one girl there, that was a sister of one of these guys, and uh, she was just beautiful, she looked like Julia Roberts, you know, she was trouble though, and ever since I moved there, the last year that I moved there, I had a crush on this girl, but you know, she scared the, the hell out of me, so they knew, you know, that I, I hadn't smoked or anything yet. And they kind of challenged me. They're like, here, here, smoke some. And I was like, eh. So then they were like, well, Julie will give you a shotgun. I don't know if you know what a shotgun is. Uh, it's where you take the, the joint and you turn it. So the burning the burning part is in your mouth. And then you put go face to face, lip to lip, and blow the smoke into the other person's mouth. You know, you got to be careful. So Julie put, the, put it backwards into her mouth. You know, and, you know, because, you know, call it peer pressure or whatever, uh, and a beautiful girl, that was the first time I ever used anything. Uh, pretty soon, I was buying bags of pot every couple days. And this was a freshman year, sophomore year. Um, we did back then cost uh, it was I think it was uh, a quarter ounce for twenty dollars and a half ounce for forty if I'm not mistaken. It basically broke down to a dollar a joint, uh, and then I started selling them at the high school. But, you know, I, I would sell. I would uh, Daryl would have the bag of bones. Who is who is the bones this morning? I had a bag of bones. 
uh, a, a, a plastic bag with like 20 rolled up joints in it. And I'd sell them for a dollar each. And you know, yeah, you'd actually make money on this. Uh, one of the, the afternoons, one of the lunch, it was lunchtime. And me and my friend drove home, took, drove quickly to his house to roll up some, some joints. And we had them all rolled out on his bureau in his bedroom, me and two other friends. And his mother walked in and she just freaked out and she just scooped up them all and uh, she wouldn't let us drive back to school because she thought we were intoxicated and uh, it, it was a bad scene. These are some of the things that happened to me. I broke this arm. You can see how badly this is broke. I was smoking. I was about 18 years old and I was smoking on a break at a company that I worked at. And we went on, out onto a big water tower to, to smoke. And uh, after I was, was high, I thought, well, geez, wouldn't it be kind of interesting if I edged my way along a ledge? It was a, a cement ledge about this wide with a wall right here. And uh, it was about 12 or 13 feet down onto concrete. And I thought, hey, that'd be kind of cool. Let's see if I could do it. And in being stoned, I didn't, it didn't occur to me what would happen if I started falling backwards. And that's exactly what I did. And uh, it's probably this and every, the, my, my arm was actually shorter when I stood up. These two bones went on top of these two. Uh, marijuana is the one thing that I actually got arrested for. Well, that and cocaine. Marijuana, I eventually, the way I moved on and tried cocaine was the guy that was selling me, the dealers that were selling marijuana also were messing around with cocaine. And that's the first time I ever did cocaine was through the same guy that I was buying marijuana from. So it was kind of a gateway type thing. Um, you know, there's so much I could tell you about, you know, all that I use. But this, this, is, this is the big takeaway from this. You know, we, me and my friends in high school, we loved this stuff. I, I was an a accelerated student. I never failed any courses. And I was smoking pot constantly in high school. How, how I ever graduated or never failed a course, I don't know. Um, and uh, we ended up smoking a lot. And I remember thinking it became part of our lives. I remember we, we would think, well, you know, we'd go to the mall and, you know, talk to girls and stuff like that. Or we would get an inner tube and go down the river. And after we started smoking, we, uh, we added marijuana to all these things. Well, geez, wouldn't it be more fun if we brought some marijuana, you know, brought some joints with us to, to go down the, the on inner tubes down the river? Wouldn't it be more fun if we smoked before we went into the mall? Wouldn't it be more fun if we smoked before we went shopping? And pretty soon, we wouldn't go anywhere. It, it became a, a, a huge part. It became the center of, of everything we did. Uh, if we didn't, if there was no pot, if we didn't have pot, we wouldn't go out. I remember like maybe senior year now in high school and uh, it had turned into, you know, picking up my friends and going out and going, you know, just having adventures, going wherever, laughing. And I would pick up my friend or he'd pick me up and we would smoke one or two joints on the way to say the arcade to play video games. We get smoked out, go in, come out, have some ice cream. And then once it was gone, we'd drive home. That was it. It, it all centered around the pot. Um, I, I, I was trying to, there was another instance I, I was trying to remember. Um, but it became, it became a central focus of everything we did. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't go anywhere. Um, and that's the reason I wouldn't smoke it again. It, it, it basically, it became an addiction. And I look at the people that smoke now, and I'm not trying to judge them or anything like that, but the money they spend, and it's become an essential part of their life. You know, uh, it's something they need. It's an addiction. And you could say the same thing about the coffee I drank this morning. You could say the same thing about alcohol. But if I had the chance to go back, you know, like I said, it, it became more than just a fun thing to add. It became the center of everything we did. And then on top of that, it's really how I got introduced, you know, to, it, it was through, it was through the people that I was hanging out with. 
you know, the people that I was, hang, or I was hanging out with smoked pot, but then a few of them also did cocaine. So I started doing cocaine, and then a few of those people were doing heroin, and eventually I started doing heroin, or LSD. And that's, that's really how, it really was my gateway drug. Uh, there's so much more I wanted to tell you guys about all about this. There, there's so many more instances uh, that I had in my mind, but I can't remember them all now. Uh, I'll do another video to talk more about this. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, have a good Friday.